Schools Rugby Coverage Sponsored by Handunwadena NDBZ Digital Youth Account NDB Bank Start your overseas higher education with Educo Pathways For more information call 0772 Seven double one, seven double one. Two institutions with great deep history: Trinity College Kandy and Saint Thomas's College Mount Avenue. These two schools meet again for the Canon RS Deserum Trophy. Last time, the shield was won by Saint Thomas's College at Havelock Park a few months back, but Trinityans managed to regain the trophy today. What an excellent game of rugby we had here today at Parlekale. Trinity started off a bit rusty as they conceded three penalties in the opening 10 minutes and the Thomians were able to convert one of out of them through a penalty kick but from there onwards it was all Trinity as they managed to get a lead of 17 to 6 by the end of the first half they got two tries and they also converted a penalty kick and Kovin the Vikram singers place kicking was right on point the Thomians started off the second half by scoring an early try they were dominating the game but Trinitians managed to pull off a good game. Yes, Sakma, the difference between both sides was Shavin Premaratne. His kicks and the turnovers that he won was the difference with Trinity winning and Trinity losing. Yes, the Thomians did pull out a great comeback in the second half, but Trinity somehow managed to get that win, the very important win in this all important game. So, we're currently interviewing one of the old boys of St. Thomas's College Mount Lavania. Uh, Ramesh, how do you feel about today's match? It was a great game for Trinity and a great game for rugby because we've not had any rugby for so long. I would have preferred St Thomas's winning obviously, but good game all round and good sportsmanship. Fantastic venue. I love this venue. Thank you. We have the governor of Sabaragamu province and the president of the Old Boys Association of Trinity College Kandy. Welcome to the show sir. Thank you. Uh, what do you have to say about today's match? Today's game, the first half Trinity boys were playing very well. and the second half uh, the tomians were doing a little bit uh, better but uh, final the score trinity won 2013 and won the uh, world uh, symmetry archery trophy so i think after so many years of 3 years of uh, rugby on hold today's match gives a new beginning to the rugby schools rugby season and trinity will be doing very well if they perform like this throughout the season Well, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Uh, have a great day. Yes. We have an eminent old boy of Trinity College, Candy, Mr. Nag Silva. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, what do you think about today's match? Well, I think, uh, being the first match, the boys have to settle down a little more. But I was very happy with the tackling, and you know whatever went on, we have a, we have a good future. We have a very good future this season. I'm sure we'll do well. I'm sure we will do well. Thank you very much for joining with us. Have a great day. and all the very best to the quadrangle thanks for showing up all these things thank you sir hi so we are with the winning team um, leader um, of trend college candy so how do you feel about the game today i'm really proud of the boys this is just the start for us and we have lot more in store in for the others as well okay great thank you and i now got with me a past rugbyite of trend college kevin karunanayaka hello to you hello nice to meet you Tevin, during your years, you missed a lot of matches due to COVID and stuff. But we are currently back after two years, and school rugby is back. And how well do you feel for the boys? I think it's a great opportunity for the boys to play uh, to play the natural game. Uh, since they missed a lot of matches in 2020, 2021, and uh, yeah, I think it's a great opportunity for them to uh, get a chance to play. With Trinity currently leading the proceedings, what are your thoughts about this match and this particular Trinity team? Uh, I think the boys are playing really well at the moment. Uh, they are raksha are going really well. They are set pieces are going really well. And overall I think uh, they are playing a good game. I think they are, they are playing a great game. It was really nice talking to you today. Nice Kevin, talk, nice talk thank to you. you. With that we have come to the conclusion of today's match and we'll catch you next week. Stay tuned. Wrangle Schools Rugby Coverage sponsored by DBC Digital Youth Account in DB Bank. Meanwhile at CRNFC Double Blues ran circles around Tigers to notch up an easy win by 38 to 7. Wesleyites were set for a big score leading by 28 to 0 at the half time but with the Athians did well to contain the damage and also to score during the second half. 
The scoreline of Wesley consisted of a hoping six tries and four conversions with scrum half Rigesh Muralidhar and opening the scoring with a splendid try and he was also judged as the man of the match. Not to be forgotten, the two consecutive tries scored by the Wesley prop Haziz Thabit within a span of six minutes. This scoreline is the biggest for the opening weekend matches of the season and Wesley College did send out a clear message on what to expect from them this season. Start your overseas higher education with Educo Pathways. For more information, call 0772-711-711. Also, we had another interesting match at Bambalapitiya where Peter Wrights overcame an early scare given by the Rajans to open their 2022 season with a hard-fought win by a margin of 27-12. The Peter Wrights started the game strong as Dinit Ranasinghe and Rajit Ekanayako went on to score the opening two tries in a convincing manner. To everyone's surprise though, Dharma Raja took control from there onwards as they bounced back with two tries before the end of first half. And at half time, both teams were deadlocked at 12-12. Dharma Raja College did everything right in the first half after St. Peter's College scoring two early tries to come back and draw level. However, during the second half, Pete Wrights got their act together and sealed the game. They were able to get three tries in the latter half of the game and most importantly, they contained the Rajans from scoring another try which made things easier for them. Wrangle Schools Rugby Coverage Sponsored by NDBC Digital Youth Account NDB Bankua. Start your overseas higher education with Educo Pathways. For more information, call 0772 711 711.